absolutely frightening. Uh, and, uh, you know, Drudge is putting out tweets about how great we are. I mean, it's, it's, if you just joined us, I'll read it again. It's so cool. Just because I really, obviously, he's the guy who can set so much of the media agenda. He, he's, he's an icon uh, in, in the Internet. I mean, he's the biggest there is. And uh, we know, we can tell he's been listening and posting our stories for a long time. But, uh, and he's done other, other little tips of the hat. But this is, this is, this is out in the open. Uh, his Twitter yesterday, there is no rest when you are involved in reality. Alex Jones, you know, it's uh, posted as a quote, and then he has the date of when I said it, Austin, Texas, 2 2011. He was listening Sunday, and he goes on to say, does urgent radio six days a week, web, DVDs, Charlie Sheen, Bud. And he posted that at 527 uh, p.m. Uh, yesterday. And so that is uh, very, very interesting. Appreciate Tip of the hat there, uh, Drudge. I mean, what does it mean that Drudge is a listener? You can see the change in his website. I mean, oh, in, in fact, I forgot. In 2008, 2009, 2010, no U.S. media would cover the Bilderberg Group but George Norrie and the Epoch Times. But I forgot, starting in 2008, Drudge was linking to it. And, and, and so it's gone from being laughed at just three years ago to now Bilderberg Group's out in the open. And, and at, at the time, we pointed out that Drudge was the one that took... I mean, he was posting some days two of our articles a day on Bilderberg, but also mainstream articles out of Europe, breaking that news blockade here in the U.S. And that's why the globalists want this Internet kill switch and to be able to start curtailing, quote, content farms, as Google said three weeks ago, uh, like Infowars and DrudgeReport.com, uh, sites that aggregate news and information that link to it but also make commentary on it. They're now putting in algorithms to start trying to block that. I mean, they're, they're, the system is worried. I, I mean, look at Libya. They're jamming right now Al Jazeera and other foreign satellite coming in. In fact, it's so powerful, it's jamming it all over the Middle East. Most areas can't get it. Well, look what our government's got. The Internet kill switch going in, the EAS emergency alert takeover systems. I mean, it's creepy when they start putting this stuff in. Because you know they're bringing us into a period of massive turmoil. And so the globalists are putting the screws down. They're, they're trying to start moving towards restricting free speech. There's open talks about bringing back the Fairness Doctrine to restrict free speech on talk radio. Uh, there's open discussions uh, about uh, arresting people that talk about man-made global warming. That's Cass Sunstein White House regulations are. I mean, they're really out in the open. Lieberman talking about it, Senator Jay Rockefeller saying we'd be better off without ever having an internet. He just has have it, you know, that we shut it down and shut down Fox and MSNBC. He doesn't want any political discourse. He doesn't want any heated debate, even within the fake left-right paradigm, because that leads to thinking. And then even though it's fake on Fox and MSNBC, most of it, it's, it, 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 it makes politics a sport instead of football being a sport, and that could lead to people becoming real connoisseurs of, of politics and getting out of this controlled paradigm. But what about that quote Drudge picked up that I just said off the top of my head, out of my heart? Uh, there is no rest when you are involved in reality, Alex Jones. There is no rest. I mean... When you only care about beer and entertainment and don't even care about yourself or your own family and you're just kind of self-serving yourself at a bestial, low-level animal point, then you are so relaxed, you're like a sloth who isn't even alive. Look at all the big studies. In fact, let's put it on screen for folks. Uh, TV viewing Alzheimer's. Television Alzheimer's. Studies out of the U.S., England, Canada, you name it, Japan. I mean, there's hundreds of them. Scientific studies that when you watch a lot of television, they have the different ratios, it actually lowers your brain waves. It actually puts you into a mesmerized, almost dreaming state, and, it, and that it brings on early Alzheimer's because the brain start, stops making connections. Because you sleep eight hours a day and you watch five hours of TV, you're still sleeping. And there's the headline, BBC, TV linked to Alzheimer's. So there is no rest when you are involved in reality, but you're totally alive, and every moment is dynamic and, 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 and burning with creativity and understanding to the point of I almost just fly off the rails every day because I, reality is so intense, and I want to know reality. I want to know the mysteries of the world.
All right, I said I'd plug sponsors. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, Inner Food, we live in a toxic environment daily. We're bombarded with uh, chemtrails, fluorides, pesticides, and other equally toxic chemicals. And with the great line of Inner Food products, especially their superfood, it's 20 uh, power pack superfoods that aren't homogenized, so they're not heated up and, and don't lose their value, and you absorb almost all of it. It's the best way to get your vitamins and minerals. 20 superfoods in their inner food. they got specials. Try the Alex Jones Combo with coconut milk powder. Uh, they've got healthy coffee. They've just got a great line of products, innerfood.com, E-N-E-R, food.com. Or give them a call, 866-762-9238, 866-762-9238. Uh, continuing here, I want to tell you about Safe Castle LLC. You can check them out at www.prepare.pro. That's P R E P A R E D dot pro. These folks have been in the readiness business for now over 10 years. They are in the business of selling steel plated peace of mind. They sell everything you need and more to be ready for what's coming down the pike survival gear, supplies, and even steel plated underground shelters and safe rooms and boxes that'll properly bury your guns without them being damaged. They have it all. Check it out. It's an amazing website, prepared.pro for professional crisis preparedness assistance. Governments constantly, you know, gearing up for crises and building underground bases and storing weapons and food, but, oh, you're not supposed to do it. You're not supposed to do it. It's evil if you do it. Let me go over some of these headlines here. Medvedev sees fires for decades in Arab world. Russian President Dmitry Medvedev on Tuesday predicted decades of instability in the Arab world if protesters whom he calls fanatics come to power, adding, no such scenario will be permitted at home. Medvedev's words fall in sharp contrast to the European Union, which said in a statement on Monday that it deplores the violence and repression against the pro-democracy protesters. And again, those are dictators, and I'm not against them being overthrown, but what do they get, and who's behind it, the globalist? And a lot of these folks know how to drive tanks and launch rocket-propelled grenades. There's obviously special op globalist with sleeper teams in there blowing the daylights out of Tripoli and other cities uh, in Libya. <laughs> I mean, it's just the globalist takeover. And who knows if they, are, they knock out Gaddafi, what, what new creature they're going to put in. Because they didn't put Gaddafi in. They did put Hazi Mubarak in. And they knocked him out now. And then and the next military dictator rolled into place who will get behind all these new wars. Speaking at a security meeting in Caracas, Medvedev uh, didn't name countries, but he was referring to the crisis in the Middle East, North Africa, which has brought down governments in Tunisia and Egypt, sparked protests in Libya, Yemen, Bahrain, Iran, Morocco, and Jordan. And it continues. Uh, the Russians also, again, telling the truth, uh, Reuters, Russia blames Google for stirring Egypt unrest. Prime Minister uh, Vladimir Putin's deputy blamed Google Inc. in an interview published today for a st string uh, and stirring up trouble in the revolution that ousted Egyptian leader Hosni Mubarak. Look what they have done in Egypt. Those highly placed managers of Google, what manipulators of the energy of the people took place there. Absolutely. They directed the whole thing and admit it. Russian, it's CIA, NSA. I mean, it's good. It's admitted Google is, folks. People are like, really? See how all the stuff we talked about many years ago is now mainstream news? Glenn Beck saying they're government-run NSA. But they're not bad because they're spying on you without warrants. That's liberal to be concerned about that. I thought it was being an American or being into freedom. See the little poison droplets added in? Oh, yeah, they're CIA, NSA. They're behind the revolution. They want to put Muslim extremists in. But don't be mad at Google because they don't spy on you, though. Yeah, they're the NSA, but it's not like, you know, liberals that say, you know, Bush was spying on you. What? He's just in